Hey everybody, it's Amber Jackson with Jellequin Unique Creations. I just got back from our local Friday market where we did a really great job today. Had a lot of turnout, um, a lot of curious people, and we had a lot of new people. We had some old favorite customers that came by, um, a lot of support, and a lot of people really grateful that we were back. So, with that, I wanted to say thank you to everybody that came out showed up, chit-chatted, bought something. You're all amazing and I appreciate your support. All right, and so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move on. I'm at my end point. We're way past 24 hours. We're at like 27 hours. So we need to get the soap cut before it gets too hard because I'm using a wire cutter. Um, so stay tuned. I'm gonna go ahead, tilt the camera down so that you can really see what's happening. Okay, so because I'm going to be touching this, and we know that it's got a four to six cure time, uh, part of that time is to let the water evaporate, and another part of that time is for the saponification or the binding and chemical um, transformation of the oils and the alkali uh, takes time. It takes weeks. So it could take anywhere from two to four weeks for the saponification to actually complete. Uh, so, we're going to use gloves because that means it could still be caustic. It can still burn me if I get any of it on me for too long. It's not like if the soap was super fresh, like freshly mixed with the lye, um, but it, it can still be caustic. It can still cause an irritation to the skin. So, this is my soap mold that I bought off of Etsy. Um, this guy, he sells them like two molds. For I think I got with shipping was like 74 bucks. Um, but these are so durable compared to those wood ones that I had. And I actually showed that in the supplies video. And I got like three molds for $60 of those wood ones. And this was years ago. I don't know what they are now. But um, the rail where these sit on the wood ones kind of... It gets chipped away because of the grain of the wood. Whereas these ones will never chip on me. Much more sturdy. So, on these, this part right here where the bottom slides into, or snaps into, um, this on the wood one will chip away. And I just don't like it. At first I thought it was a mouse chewing on it. <sighs> I freaked out. It's not a mouse. It's that the grain of the wood, the way the grain was when he cut it, um, just allowed it to chip away like that. And this is the freezer paper. I don't know if I've talked about it yet. Freezer paper is my preferred medium for putting my, or for lining my soap molds. A little bit of a air bubble here. I actually taped down my end pieces, which is what was giving me all that issues. And all I'm doing is exposing this to the air. Interesting, you can see the orange. And so what I'm doing is I'm visually inspecting what um, has happened. So we have like a separation line where our top was meeting. And we'll see how that looks in the finished bar. And this is why I planed my soap. To take off little defects like this. 
And there's one. Okay, I've freed both of my soaps and I'm getting ready to set them up here. But before I do that, I'm actually going to do a quick measurement. And I want my soaps of these ones to be fairly large. About one and a half inches. really big chunky bars because I think we should respect what these are made out of and that we've already written off the supplies we had to use um, for those other bars, right? So we're using scraps from that. We do have some new product in there though. And so take your time. Make sure you get it exactly how you want it. Blue and orange. 
orange a hat and how much weight it had. So it'll be interesting to see what's happening on the tops of these compared to the tops of those. Okay, that's cool. Got a bit of that pine car in there. Okay, and in about two weeks, I'll probably bring these out and I will plane them because I can already tell these are going to be a pretty bar hard bar of soap. And I like to plane them when they're hard, but not totally hard. Um, otherwise, i got to work way too hard to plane some soap. So, that is the Everything Soap Cut. Again, these are my personal bars. Those are the two fat ends of each different loaf. Here's the thin ends. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. We got twenty-eight two-inch bars off of that recipe that I did, which was, first one was five pounds of soap base, plus um, two pounds of soap shavings. Then we had another half batch, which would be two and a half pounds of soap. So seven and a half pounds of soap base, plus two pounds of soap shavings gives you 28 two inch giant bars. So you would do your calculations, find out how much that's going to be because the soap shavings were free. Awesome! So let me know in the comments, did you like these soaps? Do you want to see these soaps? Do you want one of those soaps? And uh, I would love to hear from you. So stay unique, be awesome, have a plan B, and uh, don't be afraid to think on the fly. Alright, you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Take care.